Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a Gerard Richter and style, oh, inspired or style painting, abstract painting. And so we're going to be using uh, acrylic paint that I've got here. Uh, this is all Blick, uh, or sorry, Liquitex uh, basic paint. And we're going to be painting a background and then we're going to be scraping over it with this uh, plexiglass sheet that I got from Home Depot and I just glued some pieces of wood on uh, with some wood glue to keep them in place. So that's what we're going to be using today. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to use this uh, cerulean or sorry fluorescent blue uh, on the background. So we're going to go ahead and put some on there and we're going to we're actually going to spray it down a little bit to kind of get it to move and we're going to use a, a plastic or rubber squeegee to really get it to kind of just cover the whole canvas. And so we really just want not a lot of white spots on the canvas. So we're gonna go ahead and, and use that. And then if it's not good enough, we'll go ahead and switch over to a brush. But what I'm really just trying to accomplish here is to minimize the, the areas of white. So we're just gonna put that on there and then spread that out. Really just pull these through. And we'll kind of pull it over the edges here. We don't really want a thick layer. At least that's, that's not what I'm going for on this initial layer. Really just want kind of a thin layer where the, uh, the, the raw canvas isn't showing through. And what's kind of nice about the rubber uh, squeegee and using that for this is that it gives you that uh, flexibility to kind of go over the edges and just really pull the paint over or scrape it off. Okay, so we're almost there, almost good. Go ahead and cover that. And all right, kind of smooth it out here and I think that's good. All right, so now that we've got uh, a lot of coverage on this painting now, we can kind of start moving into our other colors here. So I'm gonna put this in some water to soak and leave that there. Okay, so now we've got that soaking, we're good there. We can move on to another color. So what I wanna do here, normally like Gerard Richter would just put it all over his surface and then it would pull it through. Uh, the problem is, is that my thing is bigger than that so it would be kind of waste the paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and put it on the edge here and I'm going to put a decent amount, a little kind of beam of yellow and then we're just going to pull it through that way. And I might go over it twice. So we're going to go ahead and put this down and we're going to push it not flat, but at an angle where a lot of the plastic is going to scrape through it. And we're just gonna kind of pull that yellow through. So I'm gonna hold this in place here. Okay, so it's pretty uneven. So what I might have to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to try it. We're going to try it now that we have an idea of how far, like how wide it is. We'll put it on there. And I actually think that there's something that I haven't really done before that he does is he kind of flattens it out, right? So that it's a little more even. So we're going to flatten that out. All right. And we'll just kind of put that up there on the canvas. So now that we've got that up there, we'll pull it through again. So I'm going to kind of scrape it off to the edge and then we're really going to just pull, pull this through and I'm going to hold my painting here in place. Uh, 
Wish I could uh, get it to stop moving here. Okay, so it kind of stopped halfway. I think there's probably just not enough paint to, to really carry it through. Um, so that's just part of the, uh, I think our issue here is that the paint is just not enough to carry all the way through, not like in a nice even layer. So it's fine. We're just gonna kind of move on from it and see you know, where it gets us. So next what we'll do is we'll kind of go into, uh, we're gonna use this uh, aqua green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the left side this time. And I'll, I'm gonna put it in kind of thick. So decent amount. All right, and then we'll go ahead and use our tool here and I'll put it over it. I'm gonna push it back a little bit. So I'm gonna push down and back to kind of cover the edge. And then once we have the edge covered, then we'll go ahead and pull this through. All right, so we did get some more coverage here. Um, it did pull a lot of that yellow through. And I think that, again, it's just, we just don't have enough on there. So we're just gonna keep adding those layers and pulling them through to really just kind of get that dynamic. And I think I'm only going to go down and then right so that we can kind of get some consistency in the, in the layers. So now we'll do, uh, we're going to go ahead and do some red. And we'll put a pretty big beam on there to see if we can get it to, to cover. So then we'll take our piece, we'll go backwards, and then we'll pull it through. Now I'm going to not put a lot of pressure on this one. I'm just going to kind of ease it through and see what kind of results we get. Okay, so it seems like the harder I push down, the more it becomes these lines here. And it, or the, yeah, so it becomes more of these like lines that you can see the individual uh, lines of. Uh, I don't know if I kind of prefer that or not. I'm gonna put some excess paint back on here. And we're just gonna keep going with it. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do some white now. And then we'll go again this way. And maybe it's just because I'm putting it on the canvas instead of the surface. I don't know. I'm not an expert on these paintings. I just like to do them. Um, but I'm, this time I'm really going to push into it. Like, I mean, like really just press into the paint and almost crush it into the canvas. And we're going to slowly slowly pull this paint through. Okay, so in doing that, it, uh, it definitely gave us kind of a different dynamic. Actually, I feel like this is probably pretty close to uh, what a standard Gerard Richter painting would look like uh, with this, uh, these different layers together. Sorry, there's a huge overlap of paint here. Um, I don't know what to do with it, to be honest. Um, I don't want to put it on the painting because I, I feel like it would probably 
uh, ruin the painting, although it's, it's kind of overlapping the edge here. So I'm just gonna put that on there and I think I'm gonna pull it back through. So I'm gonna pull the paint off the edges here because there's a lot of excess and I don't wanna waste it. <clears throat> and we're gonna put that on there. And there's actually some paint still on this uh, this tool, but it's getting a little out of hand on my hands. A little out of hand on my hands. Uh, so we're gonna take these gloves off, throw some new ones on. And we're gonna see, those are not good gloves. We're gonna pull it through one more time and see kind of how it comes out. And I think next time we'll try a different uh, scraper, maybe something smaller, and see the difference, see if it's easier to use. So you can see that there's still paint on here. Um, so I wanna try to you know use all that up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take the paint and push it off so that it's on the edge, right? So there's paint on the edge. I'm gonna push it off and then I'm gonna take this through and we're gonna pull it through one, last time and I'm really going to push down into it really just almost like I'm trying to scrape the paint off the canvas and I'm just going to slowly pull it through this has moved so many times <laughs> And I think it looks worse now than it did before. Uh, I actually don't like that at all. I don't, I really don't like that. Okay, so I'm gonna try one last thing. I'm going to try to pull two different colors at once. And we're, however this ends, it ends. You know, this, uh, this experiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the blue and the yellow, and actually probably a line of white as well. So. We'll just do a line of the yellow, the blue, and the white, and then we're going to call it good. So we're going to put those on there. And then I'm not going to push it really super hard into it. We're just going to, you know, do like a, a regular normal pressure. And then we'll see how it comes out. So here we go. I just have it basically sitting on the top. Okay, done. All right. Now that I actually kind of like. Um, all right, so I'm good. I'm not gonna add any more layers. I'm not gonna do anything else because I'm actually intrigued with this one. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I'm gonna take my glove off, so give me one second. You're gonna see my arm here for a minute. Just throw that glove. Okay, so this is the final piece. Go ahead and take a picture, even though I forget to put them as the thumbnail. But anyway, here is the final piece. 
and you could see like we've got the overlap of blue and then the white and the yellow and the white and you can see we've got some thin lines here which i'm always a fan of just these really thin lines right but what's cool about the painting and i actually like it now is that there's there's at least three layers going on so you see the you see the the normal blue layer from the from the bottom but then you see the crosswise layer of the layer below the last one we did and then you see the top layer so you can see all three layers in this little section right here which to me kind of gives it this personality because now you know that it's a layer you can see that this was made not just in one go um, and then you've got different colors over here which aren't even the same colors that are over here so it, it's got like a almost like a gradient of green to blue in the background and then it's got the gradient in front uh, almost as like a, kind of a rainbow thing so uh, overall I, I kind of like it now I didn't on the last pass but now I'm kind of kind of a fan of it and looking at it from this this angle I think it looks pretty cool it this this actually isn't uh this isn't one of my worst ones I think so overall I think this uh this painting turned out okay I think we can learn from it I think maybe next time we'll do a smaller scraper and kind of see how that gets us um and maybe a darker background so that you don't see as much of the canvas um just the canvas itself uh, but overall, I think it turned out okay. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know. And uh, that's pretty much it for now, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. And see you then. Bye, guys.